All right, in this video, we're going to talk about this article I just came across. Pretty much what I've been thinking for the past, oh my God, 10 years or so about colleges, the quality of uh, people graduating, my experience in college, getting out, and what employers are looking for. Do employers even care if you have a college degree or not? So yeah, let's dive right into this. So here it is from the, uh, what is this site? State of the Union site. And it's uh, by Claire O'Hare. It rhymes. Uh, employers are fed up with college waste. Opt for skilled blue collar workers instead. I'm thinking I'm digging how this is gonna go, but it's pretty much gonna back up what I believe. And I love it. All right, let's just go through the highlights. A recent survey data has indicated that employers are placing less value on college degrees, leading rather to a renewed appreciation for blue collar job seekers with particular skills and experience, with practical skills and experience. Can you work with your hands, right? The uh, study conducted by the Freedom Economic Index, whatever, revealed that a majority of small business employers believed that higher education institutions are not graduating students with relevant skills needed in today's business community. This doesn't surprise me at all. A former blue collar worker and author, Ken Rux, Rux stated. All right, it said here's a little tweet or twit twit. The FEI, look at that, abbreviation baby, showing small business are dissatisfied with college graduates. No crap, dudes. And we'll get into the deepness of it, what I believe and what you see on the news and everything, and just in society. And here's a bunch of quotes. Colleges used to be a place where you would get a degree, and that would only enhance an effective human being, an already effective hum human being, just make you better. Now we're seeing college, uh, colleges attach these degrees to people that literally can't come out and do some of the life skills that we need. Some can't even do basic math. They can't do public math. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sad. Uh, the sentiment is echoed by some employers who feel that high schools and colleges are not producing skilled talent. No crap. And that is mostly by design. Uh, schools, public schools were designed by the Ford era back in the 20s or whatever, right? They were designed and set up to create factory workers. Why else do you think you go through school doing rote memorization? That's the stupidest thing on earth. You want to teach critical thinking skills, how to problem solve, how to do personal finance, interpersonal skills, communication, talking to someone in, their, in, in looking at their eyes, not your cell phone device, right? Uh, just all that skill work, soft skills, um, how to balance a checkbook, you know, all that stuff is not taught and it's by design. They want you to be a drone. They want you to be a worker. And, uh, those kids that are being homeschooled from the coup flock up stuff, I think they'll, they'll come out ahead. Cause I think being homeschooled, they are actually probably taught practical skills from their parents and probably how to, uh, even go change oil in a car, change a tire, patch drywall, paint a room. Uh, you gotta know how to do that today. Most people don't even know how to change a tire don't even know that there's oil you got to change. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. And then one of the things I always joke about, which is now true, if you want to um, if you want to get a manual car, first of all, nobody knows how to drive a manual. So there it also becomes an anti theft device because you get in there and go, what's the second pedal on the left? I didn't learn that in my pink hair studies in woke school and they'll freak out. I can't steal this car. For my social diversity and it's all that bull crap so people just don't know how to do anything with their hands so if you have skills if you can troubleshoot problem solve bam you're a winner and i kind of regret going to college wasting four years four to five years oh my god coming out and all i did when i got out i went and did requirements work i didn't do any engineering that i went to school for and uh, I sat there going, why did I go to school just to sit in a freaking office? And I kind of regret not going into the trades, not even doing like mechanic or like um, uh, carpentry. I wish, I wish, I wish. That's one of my regrets. I should have just done that. And that way you, you just start working for someone, apprentice, whatever, get the skills down. And after like five to 10 years, man, go out on your own, do your own business. If you have interpersonal skills, you dress decent for the job, for the client, you show up, shake someone's hand, look them in the eye. 
have your materials ready, your portfolio, and are just honest and do good work and don't show up drunk and don't get arrested. You know, be reliable. You will be a successful businessman or person, but businessman. You get my point. I'm not going to worry about that crap. All right, let's go. The talent shortage will just get worse because high schools and colleges produce no talent. One employer expressed true. It's all just woke studies. It's all BS all the way down. Uh, the graduates kind of been hoodwinked a little bit to think that the degree is the thing that's going to carry the day completely. No, I w it, this is back when I was in school. This is back in, we're talking a long time ago before all this woke crap. I'm sitting there going, why am I paying all this money to take these stupid core classes, Spanish, science, sh crap I don't need. I'm paying you thousands of dollars and you're making me take these stupid useless classes that are just a waste of my time. And then even the core, say I went to for tech, even the core software classes I took didn't really map or equate to any real world situation that would have got me a job. I was just getting a stupid degree because I, I went through these stupid classes, operational research, numerical analysis, ooh, big deal. Uh, some programming crap, it all was a waste of time and money. I get out, and this is years ago. My God, I can't imagine how bad it is now. I get out and I go to the job. Like I said, they got me doing paperwork and requirements. When the hell am I going to program and learn stuff? And then when you get into any company, bottom line is you're going to learn their propriety systems, their processes, their tech stack. Uh, most of that stuff is their propriety um, information, their, their tech. You're not going to be able to pick it up in a college. So college is a big zero waste. And most of the time, what I did witness, some of the professors would, uh, have parties at their house. Oh my God, this is so awkward. I didn't, it's just how stupid you are when you're young. I go to the parties and you know, all the, all the comp side guys are hanging out, a couple cute girls, of course, they'd show up and guess what? The girls would stay around late. Bam, the old professor was getting, uh, getting the wick dip there. He was having a good old time. It's just the way it is. It's just to go party. People that can't teach and they all flock to these universities and colleges where they all have the same crappy ideologies, Marxism and all this stuff. Uh, they have no sense of a reality or the real world. They just have never made anything. They never made payroll. Uh, they never got their hands dirty. The best thing that I can equate this to is if you go watch the movie with Rodney Dangerfield, uh, back to school where he's in the, uh, economics class and he has to correct the professor, the snob elite professor on how businesses really work, not how it works in a tech textbook. It's beautiful and it, it just rings so true today uh yeah let's go through some more of these you have to remember that it's uh something that you're supposed to use to enhance the skills that you already have and that's uh, what we're seeing now eh. all right let's see they're relying way too much on that piece of paper yep rather than getting some of the experience that they need yeah you need experience that's how you learn you need to screw up you need to get your hands dirty you need to if you're doing programming or tech and you know fluffy jobs like that you need to go do stuff, program, make something, show the employers what you can do. Not here's my piss of Piper from Harvard. I spent $300,000. Now I'm going to go get a job. So this is true. The average Harvard graduate income after they get out is 50,000 bucks. Holy crap. How are you ever going to pay that back? That, that huge student loan you got insane. What a, you're paying for a name and you'll never recoup the, uh, the amount of money your parents put into it, or even you, if you actually were paying for it yourself with a loan, it's all a freaking grift, folks. Wake up. It's a freaking grift. Oh my God. In fact, over 40% of employers stated that a college degree would make them less likely to hire a prospective applicant. I love it. Thank you, God. We're returning to reality, to norma normality, to the re uh, common sense. Jesus. Let's use this to apply the law of supply and demand in our favor here, where supply is low and demand is high. That's where the money goes. I don't know what he's talking there. Let's see. You can get a degree or you can get a certificate in a lot of these trades for a tenth or a fifth of what you're paying for college. Exactly. Go freaking get electricians, plumbing, uh, carpenter, whatever you can get. Become an apprentice. Uh, work your way up, journeyman. Become a, a, a master. Whatever it is. I forget the route. And then you're set, dudes. You are set. Get your own shingle, hire people, become your own boss. I don't know. It's there. Or you can be a uh, COJ, COJ, crappy old job, uh, a wage slave for the rest of your life. Job is just over broke, uh, working in a cube, 
with other toxic people, boss babes, all these people that are just going to make your life miserable. Jeez, man, no thank you. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. The shift away from requiring college degrees has been observed in major companies, including Walmart, IBM, Accenture, BOA, Google, as the cost of higher education continues to rise. It's a freaking grift. I understand maybe if you're going doctor medicine, of course, maybe you need to go and there, there's more hands on, but you still got to get that freaking four year out of the way, the undergraduate. That's where the money grift is. They get you on books, room and board, uh, just it's all money grift all the way down. Instead of trying to pay off student loan debt, the stupid government, just freaking go after the problem. Go after these greedy colleges, these universities. It's all a grift and they're just ripping people off and they're ripping the government off, too, because the loans, I guess. Right. I don't know. The grants. It's it's a big scam. So even years ago, Silicon Valley, the tech company, started this as well. It was Meta. So Google, let me go through it. Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, all the big guys out in Silicon Valley and just wherever, the big the big guys, they said, uh, we do not care if you have a degree. This is they're way ahead of the time. This is an old article. This article is way behind the curve. It's about, I'm gonna say at least uh, seven years ago I read about that. They said, even Musk, I think with Tesla and back, uh, what, what else? Oh, God. When he started SpaceX, come in, show me what you can do. And Apple was big on this, too. Come in and show us what you can do. Show us you have skills. Show us you can learn. Show us you, you have a personality. Man, we'll freaking give you a chance. I don't give a crap if you have a four-year or five-year degree from Stanford. whoop de do That means you're probably programmed in the wokeness. You're lazy. You have no idea how to do anything. You probably just need to say, I got my paper and it's framed in mahogany. Now pay me lots of money. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way. You got to sweat, you know, work your way up the ladder. But no, they don't want to do that. I'm all for no college degrees. Uh, you don't need, especially now, software is my specialty, right? Back then, like I said, it was a waste of freaking time. It was a waste of money. Taking core classes I didn't need, even the tech classes I took were a waste. None of them transferred to the real world that I needed to, um, the real world tasks that I needed to accomplish when I got out. And I'm like sitting there going, what the hell? I remember this. You're like 21, 22. I'm sitting there at this company going, what the hell? Why did I go to school? I'm like, what a freaking waste. And you're, you just feel like, like what? It, like a big letdown. And you, or you got taken, like you got swindled by these stupid colleges. And that's, that's the truth. This is years ago. I can imagine how bad it is now. It's probably 10 times the cost. Jeez, what a, what a freaking racket. So, yeah, I'm just amazed. Even so, I was going to say with the tech stuff, you do not need to go sit there and deal with the bullshit of these loser professors. They're losers. Prove me wrong. They're losers. They don't know how to freaking function in the real world. And they're just taking your money, you know? And they're trying to program you just to be uh, go against your parents' ideology and stuff. It's just terrible place. Most of these schools, there even there is there is even a wokeness factor to some of the schools. There's a website at which ranks each university college based on their wokeness and social justice score. And those are the ones you want to steer clear from, like Evergreen. You you know, a lot of alumnus were upset with the far left stance they took. So they just said, screw it, we're pulling our money out. We're pulling our kids out. And it's ridiculous. So they're you know, go woke, go broke is true. So maybe that'll trickle through the system. But four years in college, waste of time, waste of money. It's a huge, it's just sick. It's a crime. So with tech, you can just go online, watch some basic program stuff, learn the basics of programming. Uh, programming languages are pretty much all structured the same. It's like, you know, to jump from um, Java to JavaScript to TypeScript to Node.js. Oh my God, not hard at all. You just gotta understand the concepts. The bottom line is, are the requirements defined well? What do you want to build? That is the hardest freaking problem with any job. If the idiots that hire you don't know what they want to build, you're just going to flounder too. They need to be explicit. Here's what we're going to build. Like when you build a house, you have to know what you're going to build. You know, you want the details. All right, number two, find the best tech stack that's going to fit that need. And that's not that hard. You go and say, hey, what do we need to do here? We need a web. We need a uh, server side and some data. Ooh, big deal. All right. You can do JavaScript to Node.js with a MySQL database. Whoop, whoop, dee, whoop dee, freaking do. It's not that freaking hard. And I work with people that always would drop buzzwords and making it sound more difficult than it was. Idiots, man. That's the problem when you work in an office. A lot of idiots. Um, but yeah, the tech stacks are easy to pick up. 
Languages are not that hard. It's just the core concepts are not that hard, if then else. Woo. Uh, and if you have the key skill, here it is. If you want to know the key skill to be successful in anything, you got to be able to have critical thinking skills. You got to be able to problem solve. You got to be able to know when you're given a problem where to go look, where to go research it. Let's even go with the trades. If you want to know how to fix a little hole in a drywall, just don't sit there floundering. You get on the freaking internet. Go to YouTube, watch a video for a half hour, go back, think about it, and it's freaking fix the wall. Done. It's almost like that old Star Trek episode where McCoy, Spock's brain, where McCoy had to put that computer on his head to learn everything, how to repair Spock's brain. And he, he goes, oh, once he got all the knowledge from plugging that thing into his brain, he went, oh, this is easy. A child could do it. But then as time went on, he forgot how to do it and he started to panic. So that, that episode was in what, 1968, 67? Way ahead of his time. Yeah, so that's where we're at. These freaking uh, college. I'm so anti-college. I get the social bullshit, blah, blah, blah. But you're going to spend 100000 bucks to go drink. Holy crap. Wake up, people. My God. I'm trying to convince my kids not to go to college. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, that's where we're at. I agree with this article. I agree with companies. Uh, when I was in tech, I interviewed people. The problem I was doing government contracting, the problem... The stupid government on their billets, their job openings that you were trying to fill for your company to fit on the contract, they would always put their stupid, must have a BS degree, must have a master's. <laughs> and then you get all these douchebags uh, coming in who don't know, again, like this article, don't know how to do shit. And they have uh, attitudes and they're uh, always whipping out a, like a race card or something. It's just total bullshit. Uh, total bullshit. But you had to hire them, and it was just insane. Then they wanted you to go get a master's program. That was the other racket. Like, you go to Johns Hopkins APL, and it was all just for image. And it was, um, you would get your master's after working a boring eight-hour day, sitting in a cube, you know, wasting away, having your soul sucked out. And then you go do your master's thing at APL, Hopkins in Maryland, whatever. And they would, you know, the company would sort of pay for it, I think. So it was basically a money grab, a money grift by John, Hawk, John Hopkins APO to grift the companies that were defense contractors billing the government. It was just, it was just like a whole, not a Ponzi scheme, but it was a whole grift to take the government money through the uh, defense contracting company just so you could get your John Hopkins uh, master's degree. I never got a master's degree and it never mattered. I was still making more than most of those idiots. And I got to go home at night. At about whenever after I couldn't take it anymore, I just walk out the door. <laughs> it's so, oh my god, thinking back, it was just a horrible world. Yeah, terrible, terrible stuff. Um, yeah, if you can work with your hands, if you have a, if you can look me in the eye and talk to me, if you can hold a conversation, if you can tell me, you know, what can you, if you can come to me instead of asking for stuff, and you can offer me some, like, hey, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do my best to learn this thing and help you out, take that pressure off you guys, so you can go focus on new stuff. I'm gonna say, dude, thank you. Instead of coming and say, give me, give me, give me, I want to be CEO in a year. It's like, no, 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 uh, Tiffany, it's not gonna work that way. Um, no, uh, maybe go back and get your uh, MRS degree or go back and get your PhD. Whatever, it's all BS. Anyway, I thought this article. I'm glad somebody wrote it, uh, and I think, let's see, I don't know her background, Claire. But yeah, I don't know, State of the Union, never heard of it. Go check it out. What do you guys think? College is the biggest waste of time. Even the military now, I don't know, man. Just, they've gone so woke as well. And now they're begging all the people they kicked out that wouldn't take this certain uh, medical thing to come back. And they're like, here's my middle finger, army brass, pound sand. It's just, it's a, it's a mess all the way down. <laughs> it's not turtles all the way down. It's poop all the way down. Uh, so look out for yourself, learn a trade, use your hands, and you will do well because there's going to be so many people out there, uh, the younger techies, and they do have a job. They don't know how to change a ceiling fan. They don't want to change lights. They can't fix, fix a garbage disposal. They can't fix a leaky faucet. Uh, what else breaks? They can't fix a door that doesn't close. They need to call you if you're a handyman or carpenter or something, and you're going to be making more than they are almost. By like going in there, you got your flat rate. Boom, come in, fix it. 10 minutes, you're out the door. You just made 125 bucks just for that maybe 10, 15 minute visit. Awesome, man. And they're going to keep calling you back because they don't know how to turn off a breaker to change, you know, make sure they don't get fried with electricity or, yeah, or even change their oil, change a tire. It's just hilarious in a way when you have those skills, those Superman skills right now. And you're going to see these people floundering. Uh, yeah, when the economic uh, collapse comes. 
anyway that's just a nice little rant i saw this article and it triggered me i'm triggered oh my god i must have went to a woke school i'm triggered um yeah it's funny i don't know what do you guys think i uh, it's kind of sad i kind of wish i could go back in time and i do have a regret not i have a regret that i did go to college it was more of a status thing like oh i gotta prove that we're the first generation of kids to go to college what's stupid do what you want to do do not do it for others if it doesn't feel right don't do it yeah i should have went into the trades man oh boy maybe people say no you don't want to your back could be broken yeah i don't know better having my soul crushed i don't know but today i agree with companies you have a college degree i don't give a crap you're going to be more of a problem than the guy who just came in the door and said hey man i'm going to help you uh i'm going to take this pressure i'm going to do my best to learn this system but versus the uh the little harvard mit douchebag coming in going uh I demand this. I think we should do it. That's why. Just pounce hand. <laughs> Timmy, we don't need you. We want this guy. You know, he's like a year out of high school and he's eager and he's going to sweat and work and he, we're going to love him. He's going to probably run the company one day and uh, you're going to be like taking the garbage out from if we hire you, but we're probably not going to hire you. So anyway. All right. That's all I got. Nice little rant. I love rant. It's good for the soul. You guys get a YouTube channel. Just start ranting. It's a. Uh, You'll find a lot of people agree with you and a lot of people that don't. Well, if they don't, then do what Musk says. They can go F themselves. Who cares, right? It's only opinions. They're not going to hurt you. Whee! Anyway, I'll salute out to the Salty Army. If you guys don't know the Salty Army, Salty Army, go check it out. They keep you, they'll keep you sane in these crazy times. All right, guys, go forth through great things. Crypto, before we go, since this is sort of crypto-related uh, YouTube stuff, channel. Uh, oh my god, 40,000, 40,000, 869, 46, Litecoin is only at 74, ETH is only at 22, Bitcoin is a huge jump, baby, look at that, and that means that ETF is coming, and this may go to the moon, who knows, it may go to zero, all right, thanks for watching, I'm out of here, blammo, bum, bum, bum.